Good morning. Welcome back. It's the final episode of The Jeffrey Lampkin Show, and we're keeping it going. Man Cave, part two. You're inside on The Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Your coffee cups are up, your pinkies are out. You're getting lamp. Good morning. <laughs> Here we go. Just for the you, smiling at cause God loves you. Get up, 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 get Good morning. Welcome back. Final episode of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Y'all know I didn't stop the cameras to rolling. Man Cave is in. Dion Jenner, Kyle is in the house. And Vic is in the house. And y'all, we are talking now. If you missed last week's episode, of course, you can go online um, to Facebook, to YouTube. All of the episodes are there. But we're talking about women and the mentality of men and inside men. So something that we're going to ask him, we were talking about previously, when it comes to... Um, and this is a question that came from one of you, our viewers, one of our um, female viewers. And the question was asked about men as far as putting down beautiful black women, but deciding to wait, date women in other races and other cultures. Why do they do that? Go ahead, Kyle. Right. And I think that that's a very, I think it's a, a, a very true question because you do see, well, first of all, let me ask this. Would you say just as four black guys sitting on the panel that there is a difference between a black female and a white female or a Puerto Rican female or a Latino? Yes, there okay. is. Um, mm -hmm. And I think uh, Puerto Rican and black women almost Same. almost go okay. hand in hand. Yeah, okay. Um, because when when you look, when we talk about like the different races, and, and I, I don't know why, why I didn't grow up in um, a Caucasian home, so right. I don't know how they are raised, mm -hmm. um, but they seem to not um what's the word sweat they the small stuff rational. yes and so they, they 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 don't sweat the small stuff where a black woman which and i'm not We're really sure how she was fully. raised some 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 <laughs> not all of you if this doesn't um, apply yeah, if it to don't you apply, if the shoe don't fit if right. the shoe don't right. fit don't wear it um but some of them they take certain situations and it's like Hurricane Katrina. Mm -hmm. And Hurricane Magnified. Katrina was bad. Right. Um, destroy. <laughs> destroy. Yeah, destroyed a whole lot of stuff. And so some guys, some brothers, you know, and when you date a, a Caucasian or Hispanic or whatever the nationality mm -hmm. is, race, you kind of see a different side. You're like, man, she's not blowing up over this. Right. She's not blowing up over that. And you just kind of like, maybe. And she's it's loving a on me and actually wants to um, cater to me or cater to. And, I, and I, I can say this mm -hmm. from dating up different races and stuff, too. Mm -hmm. um, it always goes back to the, the upbringing. Yeah, that's we can't, right. We can't, can't stay away from that. Um, but the other thing is, there is a different dynamic to, like he said, the way they deal uh, with you pertaining to certain things. So whereas we were talking about earlier about the help me, and I can say this from when I dated somebody who was Caucasian and dated somebody who was Hungarian. Are they the same thing? Anyway, uh, <laughs> <That's another so laughs> <episode. laughs> they, they, when they saw an issue, the way of dealing with it was totally different. Whereas uh, the opposite, it was an argument. Where So if I see an issue, I, I find they find a resolution. They look for solutions rather than argue. Right. Then we get to a solution later or it never goes there. And so as it, the question was about, I, I can't say, I don't think black men don't love black women. I think right. we love black right. women. We do. The, the we attitude, do. if we don't like the attitude, we don't do it. We don't have to. We don't right. have to deal with it. Just like you right. don't have to deal because with it. Because they're so, and that's what I try to tell women, like, you got to realize and understand there are more of you than there are of us. Right. So it's like, we don't, men have a mentality, I don't have to put up with this. Right. Right. I don't have to tolerate this. If I really like you, if I'm really into you, I'm going to stay there for a little while and really try to make try. this work. But a man is only going to deal with so much. So much. And then after a while, they leave destiny. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, if y'all can see the facial expressions that Destiny is giving me. Christ. All right, let me ask this question. When we talk about sex, let's get to the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. How, elephant. Uh, the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the elephant. When we talk about sex, 
why is it that women are classified as um, being something derogatory because they sleep with multiple men, but it is okay for men to sleep with multiple women? Mm. Why y'all look at me when it's time? Man, that's because Dion, you know. <laughs> <laughs> look, well, I'm going to go to 20s, Dion. Okay. I love Andre 3000 when I was coming up. Okay. And on one of his albums, he said, you know, if you give it up on the first night, that just let me know you know what you want out of life. Right. So so for me, and then then I have to look at me and my, my history. I was out there. So it would look foolish for me to look at a woman who has done the same thing and be like, oh, she's this, she's that. I mean, I know society has trained us to look at it as such. Right. but Because uh, people change between 20 and 30. Yeah, I keep yeah. trying to tell people And then that. the thing about it is, too, okay, let's say she was like that. Okay, but now we connect or whatever, and I love her. If I love her... Then her past is her past. Is she doing it now? No. We might have to move to another state, but I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> See, my, 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 my thing is, most men is different. A man and a woman in the way and where we are in the way we wired. Mm -hmm. So a man does not want to go in the room with 20. a group of people mm -hmm. and three or four of the guys yeah, has, have been with the woman yeah, you're with, right? Gets... And it's, it's different oh, if a woman right. goes in a room and other women have been with them. They may feel a certain way, I don't want these but right here. they can handle it a little better then we can. We're ready to go. We're not even going to stay there. And like you said, we want to move to another state. <laughs> so it's, it's just totally I'm done. Different. Yeah. And, and then let me interject because mm -hmm. you were saying how men and how women are wired. Women, when it comes to sex, they be get, they can they get emotionally yeah, attached. Mm -hmm. So right. a woman is not going to sleep with four men because that's too much for her emotionally. Right. A man can sleep with four women and not even think about. You mean at the same time? <laughs> what? 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 Like, like the same. I'm not talking about game. Bang. I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about in the same month. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not, like, yeah. I bet there's nothing. But, to me, but, 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 but there is nothing. But there's oh, nothing man. wrong. What, is there something wrong with yeah. living and experiencing again in your twenties? Yo, it, it happens. It, it right. does. You I think right. we're not it real happens. about it. You like, can't we, deny it. It happens, man. But um, most men typically like okay, if she's had X amount. Like, you're going to know. You really Because a woman is not going to tell you. My, if she my, say three, what, what J. Cole say, you better and, multiply better it by. Multiply. Hey, my granddad, <laughs> right. my granddad told me this as a young boy. He said, a man is like a dog, a woman is like a cat. A dog, when it eats, whatever it eats, and it has bones or whatever, it leaves it right next to the surface mm -hmm. or on the surface. It's very visible. He can go play with it at any point in time. A cat, when it eats, you never see the remains. Wow. The same thing with a woman. Yeah. She'll give you what she wants you right. to see and what you want. So you tell me you had five. Oh, yeah, boo -boo, yeah, you really did. No, nah, whatever. <laughs> but, and it's possible, because we, let's be honest, we, all women ain't out there like that. However, though, going back to the point of the subject, I think the issue is more so nobody wants something that has been used too many times. Right. Wow. And so, I, oh, we got somebody. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I'm just coming up from the audience. What are you saying? <laughs> We got, you know, man cave it's, it's, it's the man cave. It's the mindset of men. It's, it is that thing where, you know, women, y'all wonder what we talk about behind closed doors. Go ahead. Here go it ahead. is. Here it is. So you have a lock. Okay. Uh, 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 a knob or a lock or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, so see, the men, we have the key. I saw this meme, so I'm going with this. Go. <laughs> Some anyway, so yeah, so the key, the master key can unlock any lock, but Every key can't fit into the lock. That's it. So if every key fits into the lock, the lock ain't special no that's more. It. But Ooh, that's <laughs> it. That's <laughs> it. That's it. That's it. Let me ask you, so what qualifies a woman in your mind, your personal definition as loose, what qualifies a woman as being loose in your mind? A woman has been with multiple men. What's multiple? Yeah, I, man, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm thinking. I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm about to say many. <laughs> If she's loose and she's been, I think Dion said, like four men in a month or something, two months or whatnot, even in a year time frame for me, that's a lot. Four? Four women. And, and in when? Year? No, in like four or five in a, in a, in a year. See, that's a man, lot. That's a lot, man. With this, we four or five. five. We think it's 365. With this, we have to also. Visit. It depends on the age. Depends on age. If there, there, there you go. That's what I mean. Okay, age, I'm, I'm 33. If you're in your so 20s, if you're in your 20s, then yes. that's that's not a lot. That's not a lot. If you're 30 and over, I feel oh, like yes. come on now, sir. You need age. Come, you got to start. Culture. Hey, hey, but but what what I will say is, men, we try to move the goalposts. We try to play by a different set of standards. We'll say oh, yeah. what we will accept and what we'll tolerate. 
uh, from a woman, but then if we come to a listen, I said I had sex with 200 girls in from from high school on up to college, and we want her to be able to accept that. Yeah. If we say she had 10 from high school, we like, oh man, that's too much. You. Well, see, that's <laughs> what I just said. That's it's almost it's hip, it's being a hypocrite to a degree because I can't come to you and I've been with a plethora of women and be like, oh well, you know, you're 25, 30, and like, oh, you, I, I want you to have slept with. Four dudes. Like, <laughs> take your mindset out of the marriage for one moment. So all of us stop for stop out of marriage for one moment. Would you, in your mind, marry a woman who gives it up to you on the first night? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause like I said, you you know what you want. That doesn't mean that you 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 are that type of person. If if we have sex on the first night and then we move forward and we're Does dating, it lower their value? Should women feel nah. their value is lower? But this nah. ninety day rule, waiting ninety days, right, I'm that's a, ridiculous. I'm gonna say something. Oh, rule. and there's a woman that says no, they shouldn't that's be. That's ridiculous. Destiny, what say you? Destiny, you know, I was like, what? Should a woman feel like their value is lessened because they give it up on the first date? No, right. she just told my ego and told me I was that dude. That's why she did it. But right. no, nah, I said I, I said this right here, and and this is this is a problem for women too. I'm gonna deal with this because okay. I, I want to deal with that mindset of of a woman. Okay, this whole ideology that if I, I do believe you know because of my Christian value, I do believe you should wait till marriage. But in the event, I'm still saying I want to challenge this because it's a struggle. Let me just go ahead and say that. Yeah. Let me be honest. Yeah. Waiting <laughs> to marriage, it's a struggle. Yeah. I need you to understand. It's yeah. <laughs> Especially if you taste it. Destiny's so, so, so listen. Y'all got, got, got my cell phone going on. Show me of that. Uh, show, show, that Facebook Live. Y'all got my phone going listen. on. We telling the truth over here. I Don't do want to say this to deal with the heartbreak as it relates to sex and, and uh, relationships. There's this whole idea, you know, people adopted the whole 90 day rule of Steve Harvey, which is, I don't know why. But um, that whole thing, I don't like it. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Women, oftentimes, when you do that, I have to say this the right way, Dion. You're on TV. <laughs> you put the vagina on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. Meaning this, men are hunters by nature. Very much so. We are going to seek after, go after what we want. If you put your vagina as the end all be all, we have gained the prize whenever we get it. There's nothing else to chase. Teach but Dion. But if you if you present yourself as if what you embody, what you bring to the table is the prize, you are the prize, not your vagina. Then you you capture the man, but when you do, oh well, we you're not you're not doing this. You're not, and I'm not saying like I don't think it devalues you if you give it up, you know, whenever. But I'm just saying that the whole mindset that this is it, you get this, this is the key. You can't have that. We like okay then, let me get that. Right. And so when I get that, deuces, because that's all you got. Especially you if I get it and it's not what I've been waiting for. Waiting like for you anyway. said, like you've been waiting for it, and then you yeah. get it, and it's just like you're hyping up. That's it. Eighty-seven games. Yeah. <laughs> You sit around like I water down water again. <laughs> <laughs> like you like, wait a minute, what really happened? What happened just a while ago? Wow. Okay, so <laughs> women, boy, listen. Okay, so another question that was that was brought up. Um, oh God, it went to the live tape, and so I lost the, I lost it, I lost it. All can, together. Can we go back to that go cheating, ahead, go cheating ahead. thing? The yeah. cheating thing. Oh yeah, go to the cheating. He was asking, uh, was also, what what constitutes cheating or whatever. Um, and of course, um, I think you have to look at the different dynamics. Men are territorial, um, but we all know that when it comes to cheating, cheating didn't start at whenever the interaction took place. Cheating happened at a conversation, because women are emotional. Whenever that it's dialogue takes place, it begins to create in their minds something that they are lacking or have been missing before, and they begin to create a connection with that person. So in in a, in all actuality, they've already cheated before they actually had intercourse, mm -hmm. but. The the thing is is at the dialogue. The point of the dialogue is where it comes in with the whole cheating thing. It ain't it ain't necessarily the interaction. It's before then. Well, with men, as we said earlier, we can do a thing like that and never be attached emotionally. Why? I don't know. I heard you, Destiny. Yeah. Oh, we missed a lot. <laughs> yeah, che cheating so, is a lot different for men and women. Very much so. Very different because, like I said, it's emotional. We're more physical, so it's, uh, that's where the cheating is it's different. Workout. I'm right. so glad that the women can't say anything today because, on, of course, we're on Facebook <laughs> Live, and someone said that kind of thinking is why we have high divorce rates now and broken families. Though we got to learn how to make things work. So let's talk about this making things work. Who since y'all brought that up, so when we talk about how much should, how much would a man be willing to take? Off of a woman before he decides he wants to leave. Marriage or dating? Say take off. You dating. Mean, take off is. See. Um, like deal with, yeah. put up with. You know, like um, 
the the lack of and it goes to a lot of questions. I know someone asked earlier about the roles of men and women in the in the marriage, in the relationship, in the household. Which for me, my wife and I, all roles have been eliminated. There's no such thing as a role. The thing about it is, is that. You have what you do well, mm -hmm. I have what I do well. We take those combinations and pull them together. Now, of course, I'm going to be your protector, I'm going to be your provider, but why should, like, my wife does not cook at all. I cook. Why? Because I cook well. So why am I going to make you cook and you don't do it well? Baby, not say that you don't cook well. Oh, 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 Come back, the last half of the man cave. Get your questions in, Facebook. Get your questions in. Get your comments in. Because after that, it's going to be done. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Your coffee cups are up. Your pinkies are out. You're getting lamped. Good morning. Jeffrey Lampkin. <laughs> Cannon and Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Good morning. We're back here on the Jeffrey Lavin Show. Y'all are so missing. I wish I could run this for like three episodes. Man Cave will be back. Listen, I'm going straight to it. One of the questions that was asked, what do men think about their wives or girlfriends having male friends consisting of texting and phone calls or maybe even lunch dates? Do, 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 do. Let me start Not first. Let me, let me start first because I know Dion's answer is going to probably be a thing to blow out my mind. Right, so let me get my, my little And I'm shocked by Vic said not happening. Um, <laughs> I do not have a problem with that. I agree. Because if you had a friend since high school, college, and you've always been friends, how can I jeopardize that, that friendship and that relationship oh, yeah, that you okay. have with someone? And so if you go out on a lunch date, or if you was always there before me there to give go. advice, That's what I said not happening. how can I knock that? Because what I don't want to happen is, like, my best friend is a female, mm -hmm. Mecca Agara. Mm -hmm. Nothing ever happened with me. Good friends. Mm -hmm. We talked about starting business together in college. Mm -hmm. We talked about all this stuff. So to tell me I can't have a conversation with Mecca or I can't text Mecca, and when she comes into town, mm -hmm. we can't go out and just catch up, um, I think it's kind of absurd, but like we always say, men, we have these egos. <laughs> so if I see my lady and she's out there having lunch with another guy and she's key key laughing, it says, oh, you said so <laughs> funny. Wow. A Listen. female just said, so if she ugly, she will pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did, did not just say it. Yeah. I just said it. <laughs> I just said it depends on the way she looks. If she's, a, if she's somebody that's unattractive, you can be friends all day long with her. <laughs> if she's somebody that got any kind of attractive appeal to her, no, it's not happening. But that's, he, that's how it is. Like I just told y'all, women got bigger egos than dudes. Right. All the, matter of fact, they get dressed for each other. They don't even get dressed just for us. us. Right. You know, <laughs> this is so, but like when you, what you just said, Kyle, is is it ain't. I'm, well, I can say now nah, for my my relationship. You know, I say Google. She ain't, she ain't too fun friends. She see somebody, you know. Too too snugly, it's a problem. <laughs> and so, vice, you know, vice. Because women are territorial, and they try to act like they're more not. so than dudes. They're more not. than dudes, they really are territorial. They Tell want, true. they want to own what they <laughs> want. And here's the thing, and that's the thing about. <laughs> That's the thing about females, because one of the things I tell people, like, they always say, oh, men, y'all dogs, y'all grimy. But females are very okay. undercover okay. with what they right. do. And Speak. they will do stuff. They will sleep with right you and keep their mouth closed and then conversate with your girlfriend, your wife, or someone. <laughs> like, you ladies, y'all know I'm telling the truth out there. And they will conversate like destiny. Am I right? And, what? hey, listen. <laughs> listen, I know it to be true, because when I was out there, is the same with chicks will be in the same room. Like right now, it's just a pack full of room, a room full of, you know, whatever. They will be in the same setup and never say a mumbling word. They do never. it all the time. Oh, yeah. And so, like, so oh, you, yeah. you, women, and they are more crafty at getting what they want more so than men. Right. So I, I would even. I think know, what he said, it's okay to have a, a, a male friend as a female if they were there prior to. But if they, it's not a new friend, like somebody just popped up now, we're going to lunch or oh, whatever. Yeah. Co workers. Yeah. I, you I are buzzing off. Hey, <laughs> no, they won't you. Look, Cole, and, listen. <laughs> 
<laughs> co-workers be checking too now. You, and then, no, my homeboy work at Blue Cross Blue Shield and stuff like that. Yeah. Then, okay. <laughs> no, but look, this is the other thing <laughs> too. Call sellers. That, 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 oh. that's the relationship. Look. Be ye careful. <laughs> I'm telling you, when you said we talked about a uh, uh, work relationship and meeting somebody, mm -hmm. right? That's how you meet somebody, and it's not about the look. If right. you're working with somebody, you, that's how you get to know them more. Mm -hmm. You're around them more. Because don't you call like, like, those are the work most wide, dangerous. Right. That's not the one that you meet in the club. You're around them the one you hang with all the time at work. You have a relationship right. already outside you're with right. them right. all the time. So you call them your work wife, and they bring you, you want something uh -huh. to eat, and all sorts of other stuff, and you start seeing that. That's how and then I start. if you get in an argument at home, trust me, I'm going to go to work. Yeah. Well, so who else am I going to What did he do to you, baby? I rub your back. So what about text? Let's talk about this real quick, gentlemen, while we think about it. Should women have access to your cell phone and your passcode? Yes. If you ain't high. It, it, my Nick, let me tell you. What? Look, five years ago, <laughs> I had a passcode. I had I had to change it every day. All kind of stuff. My wife was trying to look at the the uh, <laughs> the, the, the fingers print and everything. <laughs> but now I don't have anything to hide. I don't I don't lock my phone. My phone is unlocked at all times. My wife, I can leave my phone literally with my wife all day long, other than because I do real estate, houseunderclumbia.com. <laughs> now, new plug. I, yeah, <laughs> so plug. I, I do real estate, so I need my phone on me at all times. My client just called me, matter of fact, but I have nothing to hide. But here's the thing, even if you don't have nothing to hide, let's say, for example, and I'll use this, mm -hmm. Lauren is, is, um, is here. So Lauren is my friend. Mm -hmm. Lauren texts me personal information about what she's going through in her relationship. So if Lauren is texting me personal information, that conversation is between me and Lauren. <laughs> that conversation is not between Lauren and and my wife and Harriet. This is just my opinion. Me and Harriet done talked about this before. Well, I Harriet know my wife like is. I know she's not gonna go through it to do that kind of stuff. But, but no, no, you don't know she's not going to do that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah you're right. Because women, women are nosy. You, very. I. So this is about the lock code, right? Yes. Well. My, I know my lock code, and she she'll have my her the phone in her hand times or whatever. Now. Yeah. Sometimes I do be like. Please don't let that chick. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 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 that used to yo, be me. That used to but be like, me. So, no, no, I'm saying like in general, like sometimes it ain't even necessarily like you, you, you creeping or something. It's just like the wrong way. Like, hey, 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 beautiful. What's going? on? How your day? And you like, now you got to be like, you got to um, She don't take that? me like that. It be right. chick. You be ain't like, talking like, to me like, you know what I mean? You like, I don't remember what happened. I just text you. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like my wife wants it now, where I have to like, if she asks me for my phone, it's like I have to, and I tense up like, oh my goodness. I remember I was walking from down. <laughs> Someone, it, we, it was a group chat with me and my boys, and they sent a picture. And so she, I must have came from downstairs. I was laughing. Phone was open. She was like, "Let me see your phone." And I was like, "Oh God!" So I just, <laughs> I just handed the phone over, not thinking about it, or whatever. Hey. And it was, it wasn't like I was doing anything. It was your boys. Somebody sent a picture, like, "Yo, check this out." So you just checking it out. But I don't feel that. I'm telling you, like my daddy used to say, "God rest his soul." <laughs> you ain't living right. <laughs> Dion, no, a woman should not have the passcode of a man. Yeah. What do they say on Facebook? They, oh, I... Dominique said, you can have my passcode, but don't get ridiculous. Don't be going through my phone on a regular basis like I'm cool. That's true. Exactly. No, 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 no. no. When, I, when I say that, when I say I leave it open, she doesn't go through my phone. I trust my wife that she doesn't do that. If she does, then whatever. But I leave it open because... I have a past of where be, having it I, locked was a reason yeah, I had right. it locked. So now I just leave it open. That's and true. I would take my phone with me to the shower. I would take it with me to the mm. bathroom. Listen, I would take it to listen. cook. Wherever I went in the house, it was with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I can, and that's the th I love the honest conversation because that's the thing. Mm -hmm. We as men, like I can say, I've done things do. that would have that have made yeah. Harriet be like. Um, let me see that phone. Yeah, you know, right. because I put her in that situation. But you do have some women that are boosted up by other women, their other friends, and be like, oh, yo, you need to check his phone. You need to do this. Listen, she ain't got no man. So stop looking <laughs> at her. Let's stop right there. She ain't got no man. You know, so right, we right. sitting there following her up or whatever the case may be. And then a lot of those times, that's insecure women. Mm -hmm. if, if just because you got access to a thing don't mean you overexhausted. Like, right. like, you know what I'm saying? That's something. And it could be something that we may have done before and previously. However, right. like, like I like how you did it. Now, you know what I'm saying? You leave it open on a lot. Right. There's she no, she no has access, or. but that doesn't mean she overuses it. This, this girl said, no, it's not your phone. It's our phone. Oh, no, Do no, you, no. Okay, are we no. married? Do you pay the bills? No. Because yeah. I'm married, Dion. So what if we're married? How uh, is it still? That's not your phone. About, it's, us, it's us phone. <laughs> <laughs> Dion, stay on my side. I got no <laughs> Stay here with me. Stay here with me. All right, so last thing. Here we go. We about to... Um, because we got to be coming to an end. Three mm -hmm. minutes. 
any advice, anything y'all want to say to women out there, I want each of y'all, just your platform, one minute each, whatever rules, things you just want. If you if you had one minute to tell women everything about men, what to do, what not to do, two of them are sitting in the audience now, uh -huh. what would you say? Starting with you, Vic. This is what I would tell you, all right? From young <laughs> to old, it all stays the same. Mm -hmm. The man that you're with today, the, that does not mean that's the man he's going to be with later, right? So you have to decide, is that the man that you want to stay with and grow with, or, is, or do you want something different? You may grow and mature faster than that man you're with right now, and you have to also look at it. Again, I say for me, if my wife would have left me seven years ago, she would have missed out on a good thing. Wow. So I just feel like I congratulate her, and I think some women out there, you have to decide if you want to be my wife or if you want to be something different do you want someone else follow your other path Powerful. okay mm -hmm. so just just think about it like that that your today is not going to be your tomorrow so wow. that's it powerful kyle um i'll just say uh to women understand understand the dynamics of the guy that you're dating understand where he came from mm -hmm. i'm like me man i came from a mother who wasn't around um i always give this speech um, my mother she carried me for nine months and i couldn't understand how my mother chose like the life of drugs. My mother was in and out of my life growing up. Mm. So for me, I never really trust women. <clears throat> so, um, and it, it's, it's any woman, period. It's just because I knew, I saw what my mom did to me. Right. So I, I always say I can only imagine what somebody else, and see women always be like, oh, I'm not your mother. Yeah, I understand, like, you're not my mother, but you gotta understand that scar that I have. Um, and those scars are the things that ultimately help us in the end, but they hurt us during the process. So be with a man, understand like where he came from to see where he's trying to go. So now I share the story of my mom not being there to try to help other kids whose mother's not there. But for women, um, just understand the man, understand where he's coming from and where he's trying to go. And then love him for who he is. Dion? We don't got time. I didn't say enough. <laughs> 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 nah, man, just, seriously, uh, like, uh, st stop trying to control us. Yeah. Don't nag us. Don't tell us what to do. We're not your kids. Um, allow us to to be who we are and to be men and understand you 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 don't know how we think you don't know how we operate we're actually way simpler than you make us to be you're mm -hmm. the complex when we're simple mm -hmm. say what you mean mean what you say right. don't throw hints and want us to uh, inspect the gadget just call it what it is That's it. when you do these things and you communicate effectively you have a more healthier relationship all the other games and things is going to cause more confusion and you're not going to have a successful relationship so and for me all i say is keep people out your relationship let only a few people in and you let them into the parts that you want them to see a lot of times one of the things i often share people 20 is just the age to live and do what you do. But when you turn 30, you become a different person. Ladies, always realize that a man is always going to change. Jesus is the only person that was the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. <laughs> Everybody else changes. They become different people. They evolve over time. So be ready for the change and embrace the change. And realize and understand that if you stood at the altar and you said, I'm going to love you for better or for worse, you're going to love me through my mess. I'm going to love you through your mess. I'm going to love you through your attitude when your menstrual come on and all that other stuff. I'm still going to love you when you don't feel like cooking. We got to go. Dion Generet, follow him, where you at on Facebook, um, Instagram, everything Dion else? Dion uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, I am Dion Generate. Yep, that's Kyle? it. Kyle? Every, Kyle speaks, that's it. And <laughs> Vic? Facebook, Victor, H-U-G-E-E -E is my last name, Hugie, HouseHunterColumbia.com, House Hunter Cola on Twitter. And that's how we end season five. Listen, your coffee cups have been up. Enjoy your summer. We're back in September, and it's going to be some great things. Have a great year. Just for We're you, smiling out, cause God loves yeah. you. Yeah. Somebody turn the lamp on.